Well, being the leading marksman in the league, he's the man everyone is talking about as he warms up. Can he score again today? We're about to find out. Hello, everyone. Great to have the pleasure of your company here at Bramall Lane. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Sheffield United up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. He's got to get to that cross. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4 5 1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Looks very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, when I look at a player I'm playing against, the first thing I look at is how quick is he. And if he is quick, if he's got pace... Can't miss, surely! Still possibilities. And they're trying to get right into his face. He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game's important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. and space for the cross well not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of Lee well he did have other options but he thought you know what I'm just going to have a go target with it so for Aston Villa the bitter taste of defeat in the last game they lost against Leicester City how will they fare in this match Lee well it was a bit of a goal fest Derek but they were on the wrong side of a 4-2 drubbing the players need to improve from last time out but I think they will I think they'll get a draw the offside flag had to go up and it did yeah look along the line look along the line well, I can tell you a goal has been scored at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Can he give them the lead? A wonderful intervention. Basham. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Berge. An unforced error, you've got to say. A bit of running room now on the wing. Grealish. Samata on the ball. John McGinn. It might be. He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Give it away.
Connor Hurahan. Samata on the ball. Making a real opening now. He succeeds in clearing it. Slipshod passing. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Failed to keep hold of it. Manoeuvring his way forward. Smuggled away. It's with Trezeguet. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And it's come off the keeper. Well, they're doing a fine job of applying pressure here, not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Sheffield United taking on Brighton. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Samata on the ball. Here's Hurahan. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. And firing it into the... Gets his glove on it. It's there for him. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position, and he wasn't disappointed. 1-0 then. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Aston Villa facing Southampton. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, Derek, the cross is great, but just look how he tacks the space. Gives the defenders no chance. Great goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Getting news of a goal in the Liverpool match, Alan. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 41 minutes played. 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And that was a very fine read. Connor Hurahan. John McGinn. The referee has indicated. The they could nudge in front. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. Well, 2-1 it is here. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Wow, he's simply the difference between these two sides. All the eyes will be on him for this second half. Can he get the hat-trick?
And space for the cross. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. It might be. Must score. He's unable to take the chance. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. McGinn. Samata on the ball. It has to be. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there and thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Villa have had nearly all the possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, just listen to this. You can really sense the frustration around the stadium. They've been poor today, far below their usual standards. They're just allowing their opponents too much time on the ball. They have to press more. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Besic. Now just couldn't keep the ball. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Samata. It's with El Ghazi. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, great read there to intercept. That's how to rob them of possession. Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Getting forward. They would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Half an hour remaining then. An important interception. Samata on the ball. Masterful piece of foiling. begging Lee that could have been the ticket back into the game well two goals down you can't keep wasting chances like this Gilbert Engels with it it's with El Ghazi well, I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool game, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by James Milner. He picked the ball up on the edge of the area, bust between two defenders and slipped the ball under the keeper. 66 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Oh, surely. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. <laughs> Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Coming onto the pitch, number 16, 
out of a normal. An unforced error, you've got to say. So, 20 minutes to go. Connor Hurahan. McGinn. Here's Hurahan. And that was a very fine read. McGinn. Connor Hurahan. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Well, having got the ball back, what can they do with it? No worries for the keeper. Berger with it. Norwood. Stevens. Is a moment he would dearly love to have back if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on, why not try a shot? Substitution time it is. <laughs> McGinn. It's with El Ghazi. John McGinn. John Egan. The possession lost, intercepted. Promising sequence. Options in the centre. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. However you slice it, it really has been a positive contribution from midfield Lee. Well, as we can see, he's been all over this game. He's covered every blade of grass. He's ran the show. And an assist to his name, too. A wonderful performance. He's driven in the corner. The fist of the goalkeeper. Under real pressure defensively. Will he finish? A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. And firing it into the area. Well, it can be a hit or a miss when it comes to striking it on the volley. Yeah, you always take a risk when it comes in like that. But he took a chance. He was brave. Just not his day on that occasion. And a goal at Stamford Bridge, I'm being told. But for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. Five minutes remain. 2 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Moving the ball forward with purpose. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Samata on the ball. Here's Hurahan. Can they get in behind them? There will be a minimum of three minutes. Gilbert. The cross is on. You know what? He's going to be annoyed with himself given the position he was in, Lee. Well, yeah, they worked it really well, didn't they? He's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that. Grealish, Samata on the ball, Frederic Gilbert, and the cross is very much on. Well, it might still work out for them, and that is offside.
the rule over this man's work. Positive after positive.